Okay, now I'm going to show you a really neat trick that will enable you to record multiple takes quite quickly and keep them all, and then choose and pick later. Now, it involves the cycle feature. Now, if you're a beginner at recording and you're just getting into it, don't worry about this if it seems a little complex. It's not too much, and you don't have to incorporate it into your project as of yet. But it does involve the cycle feature, so let me give you the expanded version of what Cubase is capable of. What we're going to do is make multiple takes using the cycle feature to where we can keep all the takes. They happen quite quickly, and we can choose later which ones we like. Now, here's an example. Let's say you got a great guitar player in the studio, and he's only got an hour to be there. Or he's expensive, and you can only pay him for an hour, which is quite common. But instead of having to start from the beginning of the take every time and wait till it gets to the part and so forth and so on, we can set this up using the cycle feature to where it'll start a measure or two or so before the solo. It'll play just the length of the solo, a little bit longer, go back to the beginning and automatically click into record mode and take multiple takes back to back. It's a real time saving feature. And it also enables the musician to, to keep their head connected to the part. And sometimes doing multiple takes back to back can enable the musician to do the best work they could possibly do. Okay, given all that, it's quite simple really. Go up to your transport, go to the second word here, which will normally be probably on mix, bring it down by left clicking to stacked. You can see that selected there. Now what you want to do is have your start point a measure or two before the part starts, not right up on it. This gives the musician time to sort of get into the tempo and the feel. You also want to have the end point just afterwards you have enough time to stop the recorder. Okay? What we're going to do now is I'm going to go down to this track and assume that this is our the track we're going to record our solo onto. Now, go back to the beginning first, hit left, and of course you want to arm your tracks with the monitor so you could hear it and record enable so you can record it. Now, here's what's going to happen. Always remember before you start, click cycle. It's going to put you in the mode. Now, I'm going to count each take and record the counting so you know exactly where we're at. Check it out. Here we are. Start recording. Take one. Take two. Take three. Okay. Now, we've got three takes.